and welcome back to my channel I'm Dr McKay and today's video is the showcase for mod.io of my Asgard Daniel Jackson class Starship before we get started if you like the content please go ahead and hit the subscribe button and don't forget to like and comment it really does help me out with all that said let's get into the showcase of my latest Asgard ship the Daniel Jackson class so this is it right here this ship is probably going to be one of my favorite designs in detail that I've done because I spent actually a lot of time well I didn't spend a lot of time but I spent an amazing amount of detail and time in getting the detail right but like I've got it next to my Asgard O'Neill so you could definitely see the size difference with the O'Neill being bigger but like the Daniel Jackson still being a relatively like nice size to like compared to the O'Neill so the Daniel Jackson class, obviously you see in season eight. I think you see in season uh, six as well, or no seven, with um, Loki having one in the episode where O'Neill gets cloned and turned into a kid. But obviously, the majority of the show you see in, you see in season eight when Thor, in, like Thor has it in obviously the first episode, like <clears throat> and later on with the app, uh, replicator um, weapons, but like. I captured the aesthetic quite nicely, I think. And obviously I've done some major detailing on the top and the bottom with like the detail of the hull. Which is always nice to see on a Stargate ship. Or any on any ship to be fair. Even the bottom's got some detailing. Now for weapons I decided to because obviously you don't really see many weapons in placements on Asgard ships, because they're generally like yeah, just on the hull and compared to the O'Neill way have actual four cannons on the sides I decided to basically add some rail guns to make it a bit more more powerful than the Asgard O'Neill because the Asgard O'Neill is quite high in PCU so we have two bottom forward railgun cannons and they're all connected via uh, conveyor tubes so we have a, an advanced rotor and a 3 times 3 hinge with a small rotor head in the middle now we don't have like obviously armor around the uh, hinge because it on this the small three times three it likes to lock up so we just have it with the actual rail gun itself now i have six of these cannons and they're all controlled via the ai control uh turret control block so that is pretty good so you've got two on the bottom of the forward section we got two up in the mid section on top along with two auto auto cannons which are in the circle circle light points and then we have i know they look like they're in the wrong position gonna hit the back of the ship but we also have two uh auto, well, auto control turrets with rail guns at the back as well yeah which which we will demonstrate the fire capacity of the ship near the end obviously we have the detailing of this like circle section on the down jackson which <clears throat> was actually quite fun to build so I'm going to give you a little tour of what I've done for the inside because as you can see we have no engines at all visible on the outside of the ship because you don't see any on the actual model itself in Stargate so I was like how do I accomplish this well on <laughs> basically in these uh, midsection th uh, extensions here we have the up and down thrust in both of them and obviously in these side side ones here that we have here and on the other side which i'll take you in we have some obviously maintenance hatches we have all of our forward and back and we'll see this forward and back here which is all plumbed up and then in this section as well we have our 
uh, sideways thrust. Now we do have a ton of batteries, we have H2O2 generators, oxygen tanks, cargo containers there, and obviously at the back, which I'll show you if I can get in here. I don't know if I can actually get to it. But as you can see at the back there, we have a ton of H2O tanks, and there are some H2O tanks within the like midsection as well. <clears throat> so it's all plumbed up, it's all ready to go, and all the engines are hidden, which actually creates a nice feature for the ship. Now, the ship is a small grid ship, so obviously it's not got a massive interior. We also have six static rail guns and six uh, and four static uh, assault, not assault, artillery cannons on the sides, but these aren't as accurate because obviously they're going to fire in a straight line. Now we do have a replicated mothership over there that we're going to go attack after I've showcased you the ship. Now as we go inside, we have an airlock obviously. Get inside. Obviously close this door. It should become airtight, even without the second door shut. There we go, it's airtight. Shut this one and it becomes airtight. Now the interior is not as designed, well designed as the O'Neill because I just wanted one large room. Most of the room is heavy armor, like most of the floor is. I don't know if you can tell by the difference between this pattern here and this pattern. You probably can. So this is heavy armor. And we do have like heavy armor in the ceiling and a little bit scattered around just so we can deflect some railgun shots or something like that. We have our reactors here. We have eight either side and we have access to our cargo storage here as well. We have our six custom turret tur control blocks at the back. We have a sign saved by me. And that's basically it. We obviously we have a command bridge and we have our helm. So that is the Daryl Jackson class. It is pretty cool looking. I've captured the shape of it really well. Now, we have an enemy over there, but I'll just quickly, this has got um, the mods for 10 times thrust and gyros, but it does handle quite well without them. But obviously, as you can see with the mods for 10 times thrust and gyros, it's pretty cool. Pretty maneuverable. Yeah, we have general equal thrust forward, back, left, and right, so it does stop pretty well. Um, we have obviously set up some quick actions. We have all of our engines on off, which is a top quick action. We have pistons that lower a landing gear for landing on planets which come out of the bottom there. And then we have obviously right on the D-pad our landing gear itself, which is all of those X's. But I believe they tuck up quite nicely and give it a small little bit of a feature on the bottom there. On our second page, we have our static rail guns and all kinds. If I turn them on, we fire a straight shot and whatnot. But like I said, they don't actually aim directly in the middle of your crosshair. So you have to try and line your ship up relatively like well now you could change it you could put them on like custom turrets or you could put them at the front it doesn't really matter but obviously for the shape of the ship i try to get screen accurate so with all that said let's target the replicator ship and we'll go in and have a little bit of a battle i'll show you weapons now the rail guns are i want to say 60 to 70 percent accurate on the custom control block now that they are all on ai straight away so when you spawn in they are on ai so make sure that you know there's no enemies about and i think it starts shooting about 500 there you go so like i said we had they're all generally accurate there you know and we got turn on obviously uh up and down which you can turn off manually for recharge purposes Obviously, this is the replicated mothership. It's, it's well armed. It's well defended. You know, it's got a, like, a big, massive railgun in the front, which I think I've already destroyed. But <laughs> It's a bit of fun. Like I said, the railguns are 60 to 70 percent accurate. As you can see, they kind of miss all over the place.
That was a nice little uh, ricochet then. I don't know if you guys saw that. But obviously those rail guns at the back actually give it a nice bit of like defense at the back. It's not a heavily armored warship, but obviously you can add more weapons as you go. But I quite like the design. It's very capable of attack. And obviously with more mods and whatnot, you could add like blue lasers and whatnot if you really wanted to. Yeah, replica warships taking quite a lot of beating. So there you have it, then, folks. Sorry about the crash. There's some sometimes, obviously, in a combat situation because I'm using mods, it likes to crash. But you know, no biggie. It's going to be edited out later. But like I said, um, there you go. That is the Daniel Jackson class uh, Asgard ship. It's proper fun to build. I'm happy to bring it all to you. Like I said, I build for the community, for Stargate fans. So if you are a fan and you like my content, uh, please feel free to give it a like. Don't forget to leave your thoughts. And if you haven't already, please subscribe. It does help me out. I'm trying to reach 1,000 subscribers. And if you want to go ahead and follow me on Twitch, I have now joined the Twitch affiliate program. So you get some extra stuff if you follow me on Twitch. With all that said, I've been Dr. McKay. Thank you all for watching. And until the next time, I'll catch you then. Cheers and goodbye.